Academy for Research Communications. Uh, we have Byron Tim from Centralise, a very inspiring young man. We have Daniel Housen from NearTech Secure. We have Jessica Lethbridge from CSIRO, a very junior researcher, but very, very, very interesting person. Uh, we have Paris and John from Secret Lab. And we also have Shishan Brownfield. I'd like to wish them all the very best of luck, uh, but it's now with great pleasure I'd like to introduce the Premier of Tasmania, David Butler, who was kicked into the board. Well, thank you, and can I thank the ACS for putting on this forum, and um, it is uh, with great pride that uh, I'm here as uh, as Premier, of course, but also uh, as patron of the ACS in Tasmania. It is um, uh, 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 a real uh, source of great pride to me uh, that the ACS uh, invited me a year or two ago to be a patron in the state. And I can tell you that um, there are only two glass awards that I've been presented with that I keep uh, on my desk in my office and uh, always in constant view. Uh, one. Uh, is um, as uh, an, the Australian politician of whatever year uh, um, uh, to uh, our, our contribution to cycling in Australia, <laughs> and the other is uh, as patron of uh, the Australian Computer Society in Tasmania. Uh, these are two of my passions and uh, two sources of great pride to me, so I thank you uh, very, very much for that honour, and I thank you for uh, allowing me to come along today to present uh, this. Uh, <laughs> this uh, most prestigious uh, award, and I think important award, and one that I'm very happy to be here to celebrate because uh, I think it's an award that um, has real uh, gravitas to it, uh, real importance, and one I'd like to see uh, get more recognition throughout the nation and uh, particularly here in Tasmania as well. So uh, to Wayne, Ian, uh, and to uh, Steve, thank you very much for your introductions. and. Thank you all for having me here. I said recently uh, at the ICT Awards, actually, and in many other places that I've been speaking, uh, that I genuinely believe that Tasmania is uh, on the cusp of an economic direction that all of us can rely on and be proud of for decades to come. And it's clear that if we can resolve some of the uh, outstanding challenges uh, in our economy and perhaps particularly in those sectors that have caused uh, division uh, on these islands for a long time, uh, then it is very clear to me that Tasmania has decades of economic growth and wealth creation, creation opportunity uh, ahead of it. And that wealth creation will come from areas like um, uh, innovative agribusiness underpinned by an abundance of water and our good management and sustainable use of that water to create wealth. Uh, it will come from renewable energy and our expertise and knowledge uh, in that area. And it will, of course, come from high-speed telecommunications and our ability uh, to work at the intersection of those three infrastructures in water and our abundance thereof, in renewables and in uh, high-speed telecommunications. And, of course, at the heart of bringing, creating the real value at the intersection of those three infrastructures is the ICT uh, sector, uh, is research and development in ICT, uh, is uh, the commercial application and wealth creation out of that uh, research and development, and of course, underpinning our other great strengths uh, in this state in those areas that I've mentioned. So uh, it's been a great privilege and pleasure for me over the last um, 10 or 20 years working both within the sector and then working um, for at least the last 10 years of my uh, professional and public service life uh, in endeavouring to assist and work with the growth in this sector to see that growth happen and to see now, I think, and um, the people we're celebrating today, both as applicants and as um, award winners, um, almost a third generation uh, in my lifetime or in my professional career of entrepreneurs coming through and creating new opportunities for themselves and for all Tasmanians. And it's a real starting to feel a bit old. 
but uh, <laughs> but it is a real pleasure to see that next generation of uh, young people coming through and uh, creating opportunities and uh, and seizing uh, the advantages we have here, uh, overcoming some of the challenges of perhaps of distance uh, as well, uh, but uh, but creating new opportunities uh, that we can all learn from, we can all be proud of, and I think we can all rely on for the future uh, when it comes to. Uh, great opportunities for young Tasmanians here on this island or these islands, in fact. Um, it's with great pleasure, then, um, that I've accepted the invitation to, um, to announce the 2010 Pearcy's Tasmanian State Award, uh, but it's with even greater pleasure uh, that I uh, found out just a few days ago who that uh, award is going to, because uh, I know uh, when I come to, when the time comes, and I'm looking back on uh, the great highlights and thrills of um, some of uh, uh, the career that I've had and, and the political, uh, particularly the political part of it. Uh, one of the great standout highlight moments uh, for me, in fact, will be um, uh, during this year I had the great pleasure of um, uh, leading a delegation talking about Tasmania's ICT advantage and NBN advantage particularly uh, across the US. And um, I had uh, spent an afternoon these two fellas in Silicon Valley uh, with a couple of beers uh, in a, I think we're in Palo Alto or Mountain View, or I mean, I've lost track of where we were by then. Uh, and uh, a couple of beers uh, after visiting a startup company uh, in Silicon Valley and seeing um, this startup company um, talking so highly and so positively about young Tasmanian talent and celebrating that these guys uh, sitting at the epicenter, if you like, of, uh, of ICT innovation uh, was one of those great thrilling moments and one that uh, I know I'm going to look back on uh, for a long time with, uh, with great pleasure. So it is with that in mind uh, and with the, um, uh, with the importance, I think, of this award in mind that I offer my great congratulations to two uh, young gentlemen, Mr. Paris Buckley-Addison, Senior Producer and Business Manager and Mr. John Manning, Chief Technology Officer of the Secret Lab for the 2010 Pearcy Tasmanian State Award for that.